Sometimes we wonder how do we get our food. To understand this, we take up this activity. We are going to perform an experiment. For this we need moong dal. We can also take gram seeds. We need petri dish and cotton. First of all, we will soak the seeds overnight. We have taken soaked seeds which were soaked overnight and then we spread the cotton on a petri dish. Ensure that the cotton is wet. Now we spread some soaked gram or moong dal on these on this wet cotton and spread them so that there is no overcrowding. After spreading the seeds like this on a wet cotton, we cover this with wet cotton again. The seeds should be covered with wet cotton and ensure that cotton does not dry over a period of 2 to 3 days. After 3 days, observe what happens to these seeds. After 3 days, we remove this wet cotton and observe the seeds. What do you observe? You observe the whitish structure coming out from the seeds. These are called sprouts. Hello students, we are here today to find out the major components present in our food. We identify these components by performing some experiments. We eat lots of food which contain starch, proteins and fats in them. We carry out these tests to find out their presence in our food material. For this, First, we take starch testing. To test the presence of starch, we need potato, we need iodine and a dropper. For this, we crush the potatoes, then we add them in a test tube. We take this test tube and take a dropper, take few drops of iodine, and very slowly add iodine to crushed potato in a test tube. What do we observe? We observe the color changes shows starch is present in potato. Other food materials also contain starch in them like rice, bananas, etc. Now to test the presence of proteins in our food, we need powdered dal, caustic soda. We also need copper sulphate. We need dropper and a test tube. So we take a test tube, add copper sulphate solution to it sodium hydroxide or caustic soda to it and powdered dal in it. In powdered dal, we slowly add few drops of first copper sulphate solution
and wait for few seconds. Then we add caustic soda, change in color. What do you observe? We observe powdered dal changes to violet color. The violet color indicates the presence of proteins present in dal. The other food materials that contain proteins are milk, meat, fish, peas, gram, etc. Now we will test whether the fats are also present in our food material. To test the presence of fats, we need groundnut and paper. For that, we need to crush groundnuts. We put these crushed groundnuts on the paper and slowly press them or rub them. Now we add these groundnuts back into the china dish. We see the paper has turned translucent at the places where the groundnut was pressed. The other food materials that contains fats include oil, butter, ghee, milk, etc. Now we will see how do we identify fibers. We wear different kinds of clothes, cotton, woolen, silken and synthetic. To identify these, we need a magnifying glass and spread the different kinds of fibers on a sheet. We take synthetic fibers, cotton fiber and woolen fiber. Now we observe all of them one by one using a magnifying glass. The first we observe is woolen fibers. Then we observe synthetic fiber. And then we observe cotton fibers. We observe some small fine structures coming out 